everybody, welcome to week one of the craziest fourth quarter ever. Uh, my name is Mr. Fitzpatrick. People call me Mr. Fitz at school. Um, this has been a crazy time for all of us. For me, I've been stuck at home. Uh, luckily, I've got my family here with me. We've done some house projects, taken some photos, I've got the garden ready. But I, there's a lot of things I miss. I miss hanging out with my friends. I miss riding my bike with my friends. Uh, I miss being able to just hop in the car and go someplace. I hope uh, you guys are staying safe at home. Um, this video is to get you guys started with the fourth quarter. Uh, my eighth graders, you and I are together for one more nine weeks. This class, your photography class, is going to be looking just a little bit differently this time. To my sixth and seventh grade TV studio kids, Sorry guys, we're not gonna be at school. We're not gonna be running the show. We're not gonna be making videos for uh, the announcements for everybody to see. For all of my classes, all five sections of my classes, Mr. Lubin's classes, Ms. Tippett's classes, and our art classes, we're all gonna be doing the same lessons. Um, I'm working with the other teachers in the arts department to see that, or to make sure that all of our classes are doing the exact same projects. The lessons that you guys are going to be working on this quarter are coming from Central Office. Um, we are going to be giving them out to you guys through Google Classroom. Um, and they are going to be focusing on arts standards and arts as a whole versus us focusing on TV production or photography. Now, there might be chances for you guys to make movies and take photos uh, as a way to turn in your final projects. We'll have to see how that all goes. All of your assignments will be uh, published through Google Classroom. You guys will submit your assignments that way. I'll give them to you guys on Monday. They're due by the end of the day on Friday. Week one's assessment or assignment is all about what do you guys have in your house now? What materials do you have? What technologies do you have? Everything that you could possibly use to create art. For me, I've got wood in the garage, I've got my computers, I've got my cameras, I've got colored pencils, markers, pencils, uh, paper, um, all kinds of stuff. And I want you guys to think of non-traditional stuff. I've got fabric, I've got wire, outside I've got flowers, I've got stones, I've got all kinds of stuff that I can use to create art. So, while this is a uh, unique time for us, it's still a great time for us to be creative. This week's assignment for my sixth, seventh graders, you guys have three parts to your first week assignment. One, I want you guys to introduce yourself to me. Two, I want you guys to answer the questions about the video that you'll see in the next slide um, about an artist that uses unconventional materials to create art. And third, I want you guys to look around your house to create or to create a list of materials that you have in your house that you would be able to use to create art. My eighth graders, you guys have to do the last two. I already know who you are, you know who I am, and I miss you guys. And I'm sorry that this is the way that your eighth grade year is going to be ending. Anyway, if you guys have questions, you need to email me at the email address on the bottom. Uh, it's Frank underscore Fitzpatrick at mcpsmd.org. Do not email my .net. With everybody publishing through Google Classroom, my, that email address will get filled up very, very quickly. If you guys still need a Chromebook, make sure that you talk to Ms. Higdon, email the school, um, and then you guys will be able to arrange a way to pick up a Chromebook from school. Again, if you guys have any questions, just email me. Um, office hours, I'm not going to be doing the online Zoom on-demand stuff. If you guys need anything at all during the week, you're confused, you can't get something to work, just email me. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me. Um, I hope this is a good time for you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe, following the rules uh, set out by our governor and our health officials. And I, um, and I wish that this video actually being done in person in our TV studio and in room 149. And I miss you guys. I hope you're staying safe.